Hello guys, we are going to make a Linux computer. So here we have a Adafruit uh, TFT shield and we have a M5 stack uh, keyboard uh, which would be connected using this group to a quick cable and we have a Uno R4 Wi-Fi and here uh, Nano ASP32 on which uh, we already have port ported the uh, Linux operating system. So we are going to stack everything the other way around and actually you can see so the uno r4 is actually connected over uh, rx and tx uh, connection and the nano esp32 is getting power from the uh, 5 volt and ground over here and then we can actually connect this TFT shell and we need to connect the keyboard so we are going to use this group to uh, quick cable so since Arduino Uno R4 has this quick connector so we are going to make use of that so this is actually connected over the I to see connection and we are actually uh, going to power the shield so we are going to power it over the USB connector and you can see the Linux is getting booted and we will wait until the login prompt comes in and here we have a login prompt so we can write the login username which is root and there is no password so we are right into the prompt so we can enter any command Linux commands so just check the we can use the uname command it will print the Linux machine information so you can see it's saying like Linux built root and when it was built and this is running the extensa GNU Linux so that's good you can also see the partitions like uh, using the df command and we can check the memory using the free command and also we can run the top command to see the running processes so you can see it will keep uh, updating the screen with the top so the actually the uh, text is not very much formatted on this TFT but we are still able to see all the output and to get out of this top we can actually run the control C to exit and now we are back to the prompt and since this uh, Linux machine is uh, the file system is not writable only the uh, slash TMP for uh, directory is writable so we can go there CD space and then we can write the slash TMP and then okay says cannot execute the temp let's try again so to going back to the previous message actually we can write uh, control p so p is here so it will and then maybe there are some problem with the text format so let's try it again so let's T M P and then okay so it changed the directory and then we can write the ls command to see the directory listings so there is only one file inside the messages so we can make a new file inside that using the touch command 
touch space some file you can say file one and then enter and then if we list the directory again so we can see there is a file one is there so it's actually working linux computer so thanks for watching